battery in pit. Turn on Psalm 1 battery. Can you will yourself to do a first rep the way that you need to with the plan? I will remind the snare line, don't think of the gadump needs to have some weight, and you need to get the accents locked in with the marching. Your hands know how to do the slam drag part. The low level stuff, the roll with the 2-4 at the end, your hands know how to do it, so stop, okay? Work on the physicalness of starting the phrases and the weight on the beginning of the phrase, so we get a great beginning to the phrase. Then it's easy. Go ahead. Thirty-six, right? To the end. Cut, cut, cut. Unit penalty. Come on, come on, bass drums. We don't have time for this. Go. Reset. I said this comment snare to the uh, tenors during Spanx on those pilot rolls. Do you remember what I was saying to them with the cowbell? Bum, 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 just accent pad. Can we get the accents locked in with the feet? You're not doing it. Don't, 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 but, but, whatever those accents are, focus on locking them in. They're not together, so nothing's going to be together. Go ahead.
the difference? I actually am still coaching, right? So I, I know it's hard to start at 36. Just listen and look up here. What was great about that is that it's difficult to start there, but you were ready on beat one and step one, and we established what we needed to to communicate through that snare feature with the accents, right, and the, and the marching. Did everybody feel that? Do that tonight in the ear training. The bigger thing is you done it the way I asked you to, and you or, or and or you didn't get distracted by the tenor. So 42 started better, and then you remembered your job. Look this way, Tron. Then you remembered your job at, the, at all those features, right? Bum, 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 ticka, ticka, the boom, boom. Then this, then relax and listen. And make sure that you're blending and make sure that you're using your ear training. But that's a that's a lot, a lot of notes I just said. Did everyone agree with that? That's what I heard you do. We're not just out here guessing, right? What was different with the dump? Did you, was it louder? Let's do it again. Yo, if you could, you could yell to me. I can't barely hear you. You're like a whisper. Did you, did you feel like we, does dunning help or is it just we focused away from the tenors? Okay, well. You can write the script as long as you do it well. Don't get distracted by the tenors. Last time, bass is ready. Let's get a good one. Here we go. Last one. Battery, battery, reset. Look 
this way. I rarely take any extra time from anybody around here. Whatever time I take, just you can, if you need to add it, add it, or just deal with it. We gotta do one more of these. Here's what I hated about what you did. Look up here. We didn't have the mental determination to do the easy phrases at the end. We just gave up ticks. It gave up like 10 things there. Anybody hear that snare? Come on. Really, really a lack of effort there. As far as really focusing on a part that I can hear at the top of the stadium. The buzz roll, a little, a little bit of wrist, hopefully on that roll. You're not doing the technique. Every part matters. We don't write nonsense when the brass is playing, like some of our competitors do. We just take a break or rest. Yeah, that part's important. That's our content when the brass is playing. You can't just let it go because we played the feature well. Go. Great job.